What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this series we're making a zombie AI in Unreal Engine 4. Now it's been a while since I made uh, a video in the series, um, so I'm going to try my best to remember where we left things in the last episode. But um, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to set up a few of the tasks. Um, we're going to uh, configure our blackboard and our blackboard keys and our behavior tree. And additionally, we're going to get the zombie to wander around the map. Um, no intelligence at the moment, just uh, to get him um, wandering around like a proper zombie. Because at the moment, all he's doing is just standing still. So the first thing what we're going to do is add in a nav mesh bounds. So nav mesh allows the AI to walk in a defined area. So you can find the nav mesh bounds easily. So it's a volume. Nav mesh, Ooh. nav mesh bounds volume. There we go. And I'm just going to drag this into our environment. Now, for you, it's probably not going to show this. So, what you want to do is uh, press P on your keyboard and it's going to visualize the area. So, this is a very small area uh, where the AI can navigate around. And obviously, that's not quite enough. It's quite, it, it's quite small area. So, what we're going to do is center that location to the middle and bring it up a bit there we go and i'm going to increase that scale by about 100 i think let's see how that no about 10. no uh, let's do 20 there we go that's enough so 20 on that as well and then it's going to update that and then we also want the AI to walk up here, so I'm going to increase the vertical height by 10. And then it's going to update again. And so this is where the AI can walk around. So you can show or hide this with the P key. I'm going to hide it for the time being, because it's a bit distracting, but you can leave it on. Right, so we've now got our nav mesh bounds uh, on our map. What we're going to do now is we are going to add a folder for our tasks. So the behavior tree uses tasks um, to do things. There are already some built into the engine, but we need to make our own because there's just some which the engine doesn't have, which we need. And one of those, for example, is finding the player and finding a random location to walk to. So let's make a new folder. Uh, let's name this tasks. So this, of course, again, is in the AI folder. And we're just going to leave this uh, empty for the time being because we're going to make our tasks from the behavior tree later on. Right, so um, next what we're going to do is go into our behavior tree and set up a few things. The first of which we need to set up a selector. And our selector is going to um, base uh, which path it goes down on a condition. So let's get our selector first. There we go. And the root can only have one coming out of it, so you can have as many uh, from the selector, but only one from the root, which is why we're using it. So let's put that a bit closer. There we go. Okay, so you're coming from the root, going to the selector. And what we need now is we need uh, it to carry out a sequence of things. So we'll be doing two for the time being. So let's go um, down here and go to composites sorry and then go to sequence so then the sequence this is going to be one of um the tasks which we're going to be doing one of the tasks is to find a random location and then move towards that random location and then the other task is to uh find the player and then move towards the player and then additionally from this we're going to go a bit further and go to attack the player but that'll be later on we just want to get this uh, ai moving for the time being so let's add another sequence Composites sequence, there we go. So this is going to handle our um, running towards the player. And this is going to be handling um, finding a random location and then wandering there. So that's what our task is going to be. It's just going to be wandering as a zombie does. Okay, cool. So um, now we can't add in our own custom task because it doesn't exist yet. So what we're going to do is go here to new task. And that's going to make a new one. Um, make sure that you select. Um, oh no, never mind. Uh, 
there should be two options there, but uh, not at the moment because this isn't saved. Let me save that. If you've got multiple tasks already, you'll, they are going to appear here and you can base ones from that. But you just want the blueprint base for the time being. So I don't need that one. There we go. Can just go with that one. And we're going to name this one um, Find Location. Find Random Location. There we go. So then this is going to... Um, what it's going to do is it's going to tell the AI to get a random location with an a navigable point sorry, uh, in the environment. Uh, and that is determined through this here. So I'm going to move that into our um, task folder. Okay. So bt task underscore blueprint base underscore find random location. You can name that whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now, we're going to need two things right off the bat, and this is going to be the same with every single task which we're going to make in the future. So we're going to need an a, uh, event receive execute, AI, and a finish execute. Otherwise, it's never going to finish. So we can add the event here. Uh, a, sorry, it's under AI. There we go. So event receive execute AI. And then the last one we want is finish execute. There we go. And as always, what you want to do is you want to tell this that this is going to be a success. So just click that. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be for our finding a random location. What we're going to do is we're going to um, right click anywhere you want. I'm going to do it down here. And I'm going to get the player character. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. That's the wrong one. We're not doing that yet, just yet. <laughs> I'm getting myself confused here. What we're going to do is drag off of the control pawn and get actor location. There we go. So this is going to get the location of our zombie character. And it's going to get a random point which is not at this location within the navigable radius. Which ties into what we're going to do next. So we're going to drag off the return value from here and then go and get random point in navig navigable radius. I can never say that. So then just press Q to straighten these up, make it look a bit neater. There we go. And then the radius, we can define the radius here. I'm going to say within a thousand units of the um, AI. So he's not going to be running for ages. He's only going to be running for a short period of time. So a thousand um, units of radius, that should be perfectly adequate. There we go. I'm just going to move this back a bit. We need a bit more space. There we go. Cool. Um, we don't need to do anything else on here. So what we're going to do then is drag off from our random location. And we're going to set this blackboard value as a vector. There we go. And it's automatically going to get the data type and set that as the uh, value. Now, the way that the... the, uh, the Behavior trees on blackboards work is that they need to inherit something from our task. And if we go over to our blackboard, we can set up a number of keys. You should have this one um, automatically when you set up the blackboard and the, the behavior tree. If you don't see this one, just restart your engine and it should be there. Um, I don't understand why it's here, it just always comes here and somehow does something which works but um, so what we're going to do is make a new key here so and we want this to be a vector of course and um, we're going to name this our target location there we go. target location wonderful great so um, now we've got our target location on our behavior tree it's going to appear here so what we do now is we want to make a variable in this find random location task. And this one is going to be a blackboard selector key. So we're going to name this our uh, vector selector. There we go. Uh, and obviously this starts off as a boolean. We want to change that to a blackboard selector key. A blackboard key selector, apologies. So this is going to change to blue. And what we want to do now is to make this a public um, a public variable, sorry, so expose on spawn, there you go, Ooh, sorry, no, 
Um, what's the command? I think that's, yeah, so instance edit, editable. So now it is a public variable. So it can be seen outside of this um, task. Cool. So now just drag your vector selector out. Get your vector selector and then plug it into here. There we go. And what we do from here is um, hook up the event receive execute AI into our set blackboard value as vector. And then if we compile this, um, this should be black. I think that's right. Cool. And now what we want to do is to finalize this. We want to um, plug in our set blackboard value as vector into our finish execute. Compile that and save that. There we go. Looks fantastic. And then this is our first task. So this is to find a random location. And just checking through my notes here, making sure that we've got nothing else which I'm missing. There we go. Cool. So what we're going to do is we are going to set up our behavior tree. Um, so we've already got this here, but we want to tell it to um, use this. So now if I drag off from our first sequence here, if we go on to tasks, we've got our custom task here. So what it's going to do is a sequence of things. It's going to find the random location. It's going to move towards that random location. And then we're going to do something else. Maybe wait, maybe make a sound and then wait. Um, we've got all sorts of things here. Um, let's, first of all, let's get our random location. It looks a bit long. If you've named it a bit shorter, that might be a good idea. So it doesn't look uh, horrible like it does here. And now the value selector, uh, we want to change this from self actor to our target location. There we go. Now we want to add in our second um, part of the sequence, which is we want to move towards that um, target location. So move to. And again, change this from self actor to target location. We can um, leave all of that. And then after that, we're going to wait. And let's wait. A, oh, no, we don't want to set tag cooldown. Sorry about that. We're going to wait for about five seconds. Yeah, sure. There we go. So let's save that. And then theoretically, that should be it. So what we're doing here is we are uh, basically linking everything up. Uh, we are linking everything up. So our behavior tree is linked to our blackboard and vice versa. Um, from the last episode, what we did was we um, is on event begin play. We want to run our behavior tree. So that means that our zombie controller is now um, talking to the to the behavior tree, which is talking to the blackboard. And then finally, we've got our zombie character, which by default is also possessed by the zombie controller. So the zombie controller is linked. So so the zombie character is linked to the zombie controller, which is linked to the zombie behavior tree, which is linked to the zombie blackboard. <laughs> and then from there we can call these tasks. So we've got all of these set up. Let's go and test it out now. So what our AI is going to start doing is 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 he's going to find a random location and then five seconds. Um, and then he's going to run towards that location and then five seconds he's going to wait and then he's going to find a new one. Let's speed things up a bit here by setting this down to one second. And of course he can add a random deviation, we'll look into that later on, but for the time being let's just keep it simple. So he's going to find a random location, he's going to wait for one second and then he's going to find a new one and he's going to move there again. So he's going to loop this indefinitely until uh, we do anything else. But let's go on to um, setting up our uh, our perception so he can find us. So uh, this is going to be slightly more complicated. Uh, let me just check that I'm still recording and that nothing terrible has happened. Perfect, cool. <laughs> Uh, right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to, um, in fact, no, I think I think we'll leave that for this episode. Um, we've got our zombie wandering around. Um, hopefully there shouldn't be as long of a time uh, delay from uh, this episode to the next episode. Again, I do apologise about the lack of uploads over the last two months or so. Um, 
so there's a few more things which I've got planned. Uh, the first of which is going to um, sense our our player here and then run towards him. The second is to make him look like a zombie. So we're going to get some assets from Mixamo and some animations, make him look like an actual zombie. Because at the moment he looks just like um, a boy mannequin over here. So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, a uh, like would be greatly appreciated and remember to subscribe for future content so you don't miss the next in the series and as always i'll see you in the next one